with all your news in one place. This is ABC 24 News. Reporting tonight is Marcus Haroon. Brad McRoberts has your sports action. And Colin Joyce with your weather forecast. ABC 24 News at 8 p.m. starts now. Good evening, everyone. I'm Marcus Haroon, and thanks for joining me on ABC 24 News. We start tonight with our top story. State regulators approved the 7.7% rate hike for Connecticut Light and Power customers on Friday. Dispute Governor Jody Rell asking them to delay the increase until the General Assembly could take it up next month. The increase passed by the Department of Public Utility Control. This takes effect January 1st. For customers who do not use electricity for heat, the average increase will be 6.9% or about $8.75 more per month. Rel and Attorney General Richard Blumenthal will delay action on the utility hike until the General Assembly has a chance to change the law that might soften the impact on Connecticut residents. We'll bring you more on this story as we get it. We now have a special report from Brad McRoberts about the new study on the war in Iraq. Brad, can you tell us what is going on in this study? Thanks, Marcus. U.S. President George W. Bush and Britain's Prime Minister Tony Blair met at the White House Thursday, one day after a report by the U.S. bipartisan Iraq Study Group said American policy is not, in Iraq is not working and calling for a change of strategy. During a joint news conference with the British leader, President Bush said that although the report has good ideas on how to go forward, it is only one of several recommendations he will consider. In the first sentence of the report issued by the Iraq Study Group, the report describes the situation in Iraq as grave and deteriorating. At a news conference, President Bush called the violence unsettling and said, it's bad in Iraq. He said progress in Iraq has not occurred fa as fast as he hoped, and he thought that U.S.-led forces would succeed quicker in stop stopping the fighting, which he blamed on extremists both inside and outside the country. The 10-member Iraq study group recommends the U.S. military change its main mission from combat to support and suggests pulling out most American troops by early 2008. Before announcing any decisions, Mr. Bush said he is also considering recommendations from the U.S. Defense and State Departments. He went on to say that the resol any resolution on the Iraq conflict is tied to reducing tensions between Israel and the Palestinians as well as, any, as many other parts in the Middle East. I'm Brad McRoberts, reporting for ABC 24 News. An arrest has been made in the death of an elderly man in Enfield. Enfield police say the man's friend found him dead noon on Friday. State police major crimes were called in to help collect evidence while Enfield detectives interviewed witnesses. Police say... Pugnam lived with his elderly, undefined man who was found dead on the bedroom floor. Police got this call on Friday, and as soon as the yellow crime scene tape went up, neighbors were alarmed. The last murder in Enfield was more than five years ago. He's being held on a $1.5 million bond. He will be arraigned in Enfield Superior Court on Monday. Let's get our first check on the weather with Colleen Joyce. Colleen? Thanks, Marcus. I'll tell you the NBA went to the weather for you. It will all clear your weather for the week. Brad? Baseball, football, and basketball, all in the sports report. Coming up later. Thanks, Brad and Colleen. Also coming up will be the second space shuttle mission, and this one wasn't scrubbed like last week, and we'll have a full report on that. Those stories and more are coming up on ABC 24 News. Stay with us.
This has been a special ABC 24 News web news report.